hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel so i hope you guys are enjoying these notary documents let's get into it so today we're going to be discussing a vin verification now i honestly thought i did a video about this months and months ago but somehow i guess i did not and so i just had someone ask me to make one and i was like well yeah let's go ahead and get into it so here we go now right here i have an actual vin verification and you can always go if you're here in florida or whatever your state is you can go to your put the name of your state and put it in dmv and you can print out these documents so like up here if you're in florida this is where you would go at to print this out but this is this is like free for everybody to print out and you should always keep several of these in your your car with you at all times because if you're doing one and you mess up now either you're gonna go all the way back home to try to make another copy for these people or you losing money either way it's better to just have them just in case so have a couple maybe five or six of them in your uh, accordion folder so let me show you this is an actual title for a vehicle it's a sample but i have this here just to show you for an example because if a person needs to do a vin verification most likely the reason is is that the car or the vehicle was registered in another state and now they're trying to register it in your current state and in order to register it to be able to get a registration and a tag and everything they need to get this completed and take it to the dmv so what they will have on them most likely 95 percent of the time is the actual title for the vehicle so what's going to make your job a lot easier is if you ask them hey can i see your title so once you get their title then all the key information that you need for this form you have it so you don't have to ask them over and over what's this what's that what's the body what they're not going to know so honestly especially if it's a woman to be honest because women don't really know stuff like that so you ask for the actual title and you can get all your information that you need so basically all your information is going to be at the top of the title so you're going to have like the vin number right here the model of the vehicle not not the model but the year the make of the vehicle the body style and pretty much and if they need the, the model or anything like that that's there but this actual mileage you don't need that because on this VIN verification you need to put the actual mileage that's on the vehicle when you crank it up okay so you will start here with the VIN verification which is there it's going to be a long series of numbers and letters and what you'll do is once you get this off of the title and put it here, before you complete this document, you need to go to the actual vehicle and you need to verify that this number is on that vehicle that's in front of you. You cannot do this form for a vehicle that is not in front of you. You have to be with this vehicle. You need to either look in the front part of where the dashboard is on the driver's side. Or you can open up the driver's side door and in the hinges of the door, you'll see like you open up the door, you'll see the actual VIN number. So you originally can use the title to get all of this written down, but you go and verify it and you make sure these letters and numbers match. OK, so you will write these these here. You'll write the year of the vehicle, the make. The color isn't going to be on the title, most likely, but you can look at the vehicle and put your color. And then the body that should be on the title also. And whatever state that this vehicle has come from, that that's on that title, you go ahead and you write that there. And the day you're completing this document is going to go here. You'll come up and here, this is for the odometer reading. So once you get asked them for the keys and they crank it up, then you will write how many miles on this vehicle. So you'll write the mileage and you'll write whether it's six or five digits. So if it's only like 3,000, like, so this is six 
and then if it's just like 23,000 miles on it, you'll check five. But most older cars are going to have six, so it's going to be like 100 and something thousand miles on it. So you'll select one of these, put the mileage, and then you're going to put the day you read the mileage, which should match this date right here. Then you'll come down further, and right here, you're going to go ahead and select this is the actual mileage. Or if for whatever, for whatever reason, if the car doesn't crank up or any kind of mechanical problems and you cannot write the mileage down, or maybe the dashboard is blacked out or whatever it is, you can check here that that's not the actual mileage, but you can write here still what the person says the mileage is, the last mileage they remember. Or if it's exempt, sometimes vehicles say that they're exempt. So after they're old, they pass a certain mileage or whatever, they're exempt. You don't have to worry about completing this if it's exempt. And it'll say exempt on the actual title. Let's see if this one, that doesn't say exempt, of course, because it's it didn't have that many miles on it. So it doesn't have it on there, but. If it, it, if it does say exempt on the actual title, then you don't have to worry about that part, okay? So the person that's in front of you that has provided their driver's license, they are going to sign there. They're going to print their name there. Now, the person that sold them the vehicle does not have to be in your presence. They don't have to sign this at all. If they're there, then fine. They can sign it. But it's not necessary for this document to be completed, okay? And I know that I normally say that you can't leave any blanks, but this form is an exemption of that. So, like, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to write anything here. You just leave it blank because that person isn't there, but it's not necessary. So, you'll come down further. Now, this is your part here. So, you will write the date that you complete the document, which honestly should match all of these dates. You're going to position your stamp correctly. And you're going to get that stamp in between this, these lines right here. Yes, it is a small section. Honestly, what I do, you don't have to do it. For me, it's more space over here than over here. You see those words? That's not over here. So I normally would stamp here and I would sign over here. And I've never, ever had to do one of these over. They accept it like that. But. If you want to do it the correct way, which you should, and if you if your stamp is small enough, go ahead and stamp here. And I say that because when you stamp, you don't want any of your information to not be um, legible because uh, it's on a line or it's on a word or anything. You need to stamp it without it touching anything. That's why I normally do it over here. But so you'll stamp it. And then you will sign it. And then that is it. This document will be complete. Okay. So ultimately, like you see where it says here, if other than a notary, then check. So these people can do this form, but they would check here and they would fill this out. This is not for you to touch at all. You're going to just complete that part and then you're done. This document will be complete and you'll go ahead and give that back to them and they can take it to their local um, DMV. And get their um their their appointment set up or whatever. So and that pretty much is the end of this document. And once again, I just want to show you the actual title, so you can see. This is the the year, the VIN verification, the VIN number right here. It's here and it's on the inside of the vehicle and it's on the the front part of the the front dash, on the driver's side. And then this is the make of the vehicle. This is the body style. So all of this information should be on there. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it. So if you have any other questions about completing this document, just go ahead and put that underneath. And I'll um, answer it as soon as possible. And just go ahead and look out for some more documents. So thank you so much for coming by my channel. And you guys enjoy the rest of your day.